Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Joe Fame coming at you with a brand new video. First, I want to wish everybody a happy Memorial Day. Hope you guys all had a great weekend with a lot of fun in the sun. But remember what Memorial Day is really about and all about our troops. So hopefully you guys, you did spend it wisely. But today I want to talk about what should you use on your iPad? Should you use Final Cut Pro, which just came out, which is only $5 a month or $49 for the year with a 30 day free trial? Or do you use the free version of DaVinci Resolve, or you could pay the additional $90 or $100, I believe it is, um, for additional features. But you only have the cut and color page. There is shortcuts you can add to get like, access to edit page, but it goes away every time you restart DaVinci, so you're still basically left off with just the cut page and the color page. But then you got Final Cut Pro now, which basically does everything Final Cut does and they finally came up with the update. So I'm gonna be editing this on actually on Final Cut, probably on the desktop version, not the iPad version. Usually I always use DaVinci, so I actually had to change my camera settings because I usually shoot B-Roar, but today I'm gonna to shoot ProRes just so I can edit in Final Cut for this video. And why is because they have a cool feature that they added, which I do wanna test out, and that is the background removal as you can see I'm in kind of like a born background so I'm gonna see if I can spice it up but they do have some restrictions on Final Cut that tells you how you should edit the video they said make sure they have proper lighting and to make sure you give a couple of seconds when you pull away like, or you guess you walk into the clip so I'm gonna do that and I walked away it's empty and now I'm back <laughs> and I'm just gonna test out this feature and see how well it works it may not work the best because I don't know how much uh, depth I actually have behind me. Also, the lighting is just natural lighting I'm using right now. I really don't have any lights set up for this purpose. I just want to test it out thoroughly. So you guys are going to see it after I edit it right now. I don't know, but you're going to see it after I edit. So you can let me know in the comments what you guys think of uh, what it looks like when you add this feature to it. And you can also doodle with the pen from there. So you can transfer it from your iPad to your desktop. <clears throat> the only thing is once you go there, you can't go back. So it's like... Once you go to your Mac, you can't go back. So it's kind of, yeah. Hopefully they fix that in future firmware updates, which I'm assuming they're going to. I mean, especially if you're gonna pay a subscription base now, that everything I feel like is gonna be updated more frequently. They're always gonna add new features, new transitions, new titles, which they already added a couple, because it's been forever. And you gotta think about it, Final Cut was a one-time payment, right? So the updates weren't frequently, they weren't always updating things or fixing things, because it was like, hey, you pay for it once, we get around to it, we get around to it. Now it's subscription based, so now I think they're gonna put more time and effort into the iPad version to make it pro. And like I said, you can only use this app on the M1 chips and up, and the latest Bionic chip, I think it was like the A16 or something. So basically the newest stuff will allow you to use Final Cut and Logic Pro on your iPad. So it's cool because this is the exclusive 12.9 M1 when it was overkill, when it was, I got the 16 ter gigabytes of RAM with four terabyte of storage, and we we're like, maybe we're gonna get pro apps, maybe we're not, and then everyone realized we didn't get it, so they all returned them, but I kept mine because I actually like it. I use mine for when I go out and I DJ and I connect it for uh, ceremonies. I'll do another video regarding that, but this is still very handy and I used it on film sets and everything. So I still use this iPad, not as much as my MacBook, but it's cool that it's here. So it makes me kind of want to use this more. Uh, with the M1, I actually think it's kind of faster than my M1 MacBook Air. Uh, so that's why I don't mind using this tablet now because it is pretty much faster. Like I, can, I feel like I could skim through things a little bit faster than I could on my computer. Um, which is really pretty cool. They got, they got a lot of cool features. You can draw on it. Um, there's so many videos. I'm sorry you guys have seen it. I'm really late to the party as always with my videos But I do want to talk about do you go with that or do you go with DaVinci Resolve? I love DaVinci Resolve. That's why I usually edit on all the time. Sorry, I was looking down at my <laughs> iPad, but usually DaVinci Resolve is what I go to all the time when I edit my videos now. I got used to it I started off with Final Cut Always did Final Cut and then I went to the whole DaVinci and I love DaVinci because now I'm getting used to it and it's just exactly like the computer version so 
when you're in your cut page and your color page, this is, it's identical to exactly how it is when you open up a desktop version, which I love. Final Cut, it's basically the same, but it's a little different because they have the wheels and they adjust and they change some of the layout. But basically it's kind of identical, but not as identical as DaVinci. So my main thing is if you're trying to color grade something, DaVinci. Because the new feature with the um, Final Cut you know, you have your exposures and your different ways to kind of color grade on here, which <clears throat> I'm just not 100% sold on. Um, they have just the way you have to navigate through it just to look at your colors. Um, it's, it's very limited. There's not much that you can do, really do with it um, to kind of get the colors you're looking for. So... That's kind of a disappointment if you think about it. You can only just sliders and it's very limited. DaVinci, you can have more full control. So if you want to color, you want the best color out of your image. Right now I'm shooting ProRes, so I'm gonna have to boost this up. So I'm gonna try to see what it looks like in Final Cut. I'm gonna boost all the colors I can and see how it looks, but I know it's not gonna look as good as DaVinci will look. So this video is gonna be shot in ProRes and edited in Final Cut. So I guess we'll see what the final product looks like. I have to say, it's up to you what you guys want. So in the beginning, if you're just starting out and you want to learn how to get into video production maybe, or learn how to edit your own videos, there's two options I would definitely say go with. One, go with DaVinci. Get used to that platform because it's great on the computer version, which is a free version, so you can use that, and then on your iPad, so you can get used to it very well. If you're strictly using your iPad and nothing really else, you can try LumaFusion, LumaFusion is still great. You know, they still add, they're always updating. They have that one-time price, and then now when they add different things, there's a little fees that they charge, which is normal though. It's not as bad, because they give you a lot for like nothing. Final Cut Pro, if you use Final Cut Pro before, and you just like that workflow, and you don't mind paying that subscription cost of $5 a month or $50 for the year, that's up to you. I think as long as they keep with the updates and they keep adding stuff to Final Cut to make it worthy, I mean, if it's worth the subscription that you're paying for and it's worth that $50 a year or $5 a month, then go with Final Cut. I say use what you're used to, but if you never used anything before, like if you never used any type of editing program before, iMovie or anything, first use what you can at your advantage. If you have a computer, if you have Apple products, but this is about the iPad for today, use what you have on you but if you want to start right away and you don't want to spend any money use davinci that's not even like a question to ask jump into davinci davinci is now coming more standardized than you think premiere adobe premiere it's still there but so many people are stopping using premiere and adobe is realizing that and they're trying to fix a lot of stuff right now like they're going hard to come up with a lot of cool concepts to make premiere better which I think they're going to. I think they have a lot of cool stuff in the works that's supposed to be really awesome. I know their transcript is probably still the best on the market. So they still have some things that like outshine other things. I still believe After Effects is better than Fusion um, when it comes to visual effects. So they still have like their pros for Adobe, but you're also paying $52 a month. So just think $50 a year for Final Cut or $52 a month for Adobe Premiere um, and all the Adobe Creative Suites so expensive um or you go to davinci and you can either pay a one-time fee of davinci it's 300 bucks or you can use a lot with the free version you can basically do 90 percent of things you want to do with the free version but definitely the studio version is well worth it because it's one-time price and it's forever upgrades forever like until as long as black magic's in business it's going to be free so <laughs> Those are great options. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. What are you guys editing on? Are you going to use your iPad and use Final Cut? Or are you going to use DaVinci? Or are you going to stick to LumaFusion? Let me know in the comments below what you guys are still using. I'm going to take this to the editor room and see what it comes up with and see what features I can use from the 10.6.6 version of Final Cut and see what I can do on that. Um, but this one's just to tell you to decide what do you want to use, either Final Cut or DaVinci on your iPad or LumaFusion. Like I said, coloring, stick to DaVinci, hands down. You want to color your videos to look amazing? DaVinci, not even a question. That's it. <laughs> Final Cut is great if you're used to Final Cut. DaVinci is amazing, and LumaFusion is great too. 
but LumaVision is now in a competition. They were the original link into iPad. It was like they were the go-to. But now you got these pro apps coming. Now you got Final Cut and DaVinci both on the iPad. I'm sorry, LumaVision. Uh, unless you're targeting like the older devices that are not M1s or a little bit older, then that's perfectly fine. But anybody who's new with technology and up to date since like 2020, 2021 and up, DaVinci or Final Cut your main go-to, hands down. Adobe Rush, that's garbage, don't even use it. That's my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.